What's up? All right, I got a little bit of a project that I wanted to try today, and uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go, but we're going to film it and probably post it if it works. If it doesn't, maybe I'll still post it anyway, just so that there's a maybe a lesson to be learned for people. Today I'm going to be using a piece of oak board, some felt that I bought at uh, Walmart. It's like 27 cents per sheet, and I cut it in half. So this is actually one sheet. We're going to epoxy them together to make a slingshot. Actually, we should be able to get two out of this one. All right, first thing, you're going to need some gloves because this gets a little bit sticky. I got one cup of the hardener, one cup of the epoxy. This is a one-to-one -one mix that you're going to need to use. I have one sheet of my felt. So one thing you should know about this felt, it's not very absorbent. It takes a lot, but it's very, it's very fluffy. So there's a lot of surface area in this felt. And because it's not very absorbent and there's a lot of surface area, you really need to take your time and apply the, the epoxy liberally in order to make this work as epoxy as what or as like a micarta. Otherwise, what ends up happening is if it doesn't absorb and you're pushing it around, it might push away from a spot. And then when it hardens, you'll get just a soft felt spot instead of hard micarta. Two, two boards cut the same length. and they are cut to almost exactly the length of the felt. I'm gonna use that one first, and that one on top. Ziploc bag and some barbell plates. Those are gonna come in handy in a minute. So let's go ahead and start to mix up the epoxy. which I used that entire, that entire felt filled with epoxy. I told you, it takes a lot of that felt in there. We're going to put this, we're going to wrap this in some rubber bands to keep the boards even, uh, just a couple uh, to even it out. And then we're going to stuff it inside a Ziploc bag um, so that we have a way to trap any runoff. 
say with that. Like now. <laughs>
So it's not like there's going to be a whole bunch of visible grain, although there will be some um, beside what you can see right now. And then we'll probably epoxy coat them. I do want to put band grooves in these. And they'll be good to go. I like that blue color. It stayed pretty blue. I was worried that it would get darker. But once that gets sanded up and epoxy, it's going to look it's going to really really pop back to that original like royal blue color. So not going to film myself sanding them cuz that's boring as hell, but uh I'll show you what they look like after they are sanded. All right, and there they are. Sanded covered in epoxy and this one's banded as well I'll show you guys what they look like before they're before they're banded up there that blue really really pops I'm really ha happy that I use that blue color I'm not a big fan of blue generally but I think it looks great on this a lanyard hole for the optional lanyard. And of course the wood soaks up a lot of the epoxy. So it helps to stabilize the wood. And then the coating on the outside too, with there not being any real pins except for this little uh, carbon uh, tube that I put in there, it'll also help to seal the pieces together so it makes like a seal um, around the entire thing to help keep the pieces together so you don't really need pins on these kinds of builds especially the epoxy like I said the wood soaks up the epoxy and it works like basically like a glue and it gets so hard especially after about a week that you really aren't gonna have to worry about any kind of delaminating or anything Helps to stabilize it. Puts a shiny waterproof coating on there too. I, I just I absolutely love this epoxy stuff. Easy to apply. It does take quite a while to to cure though. At least uh, 24 hours before you can really handle it, and then another couple of days before it's totally cured. Yeah. Let's go shoot. All right, so it's finished up, <clears throat> banded. Got some uh, Falcon White on here. Pit pouches. Love these things. We're gonna shoot some 9.5 steel at the can in the catch box right there. Missed. There we go. All right. Oof, a little low. It's all right. Still low. There Just got to hold over a little bit. There it is. Need to hold over just a tad, like shooting something off the top of the can. There we go. Now 
a little bit of a streak. Went through the middle. Anyway, you guys get the idea. It's the Sasquatch, the Yeti 2.0. <laughs> I like this better than the original Yeti. Uh, just the shorter handle. It's the only difference between the two. And it's a little bit thicker. The Yeti is more of a thinner design. Sasquatch is a little bit thicker. You see the, the blue micarta in there? I love it. Anyway... These are, right now, these are available on my Etsy page, so you guys can go there and uh, you can purchase one if you'd like. You can also just, you know, message me or whatever if you guys are interested and we'll hook you up. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.